do. All right. All right. Wendy, there we sit. We're at High Jolly BLM 14 day stay for free. No permit this time. Very nice. Yeah, you can see the winds blowing. Look at that flag. Wow. There's lots of room out here at High Jolly, but most everyone is up at the front. And I think it's because they can get they can get uh, Wi-Fi better because there's a tower right up there. But as you look around, there's plenty of spaces down here. And it's pretty. The mountains in the background. How about that? Of course, we're in quartzite, so it's like like a little bowl there's mountains completely around but there's there's a lot of there's a lot of space out here I like it I like it woman she's a hard worker been waxing since what time this morning oh I don't know what time is it now uh, I'd say probably 7.30 Wow, look how pretty it looks. Nice job. And Bobby did the Yes. Bobby did the top up here for her. Sweet. Yes. With nice. the trailer being so high, I just couldn't reach that. Yeah. So it's nice to have those little tall <laughs> guys. <sighs> yeah, it looks really good. Very good. So I can see the truck. And the reflection from the Oh trailer. yeah. Really cool. See you can see the the fire pit right there. Nice. Oh, and the truck. Yeah. Sweet. And me? Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Very nice. It looks pretty good. I told Bobby. Probably have enough left to your trailer. Wow. Okay, this is the stuff that she uses. What's it called? Walburnize. Okay. Yeah. So I've just used down to this very top line here, just on half of the trailer. So. Cool. I figure I'll have half a bottle left. At wow. Least. Wow. RV, one step RV super seal. Sweet. And what's it say? For, for autos, recreational vehicles, and boats. So I could even do your truck. Do my truck. Ideal for and safe for all acrylics and urethane finishes and protects new paint. <sighs> sweet. Yeah. Sweet, sweet. It's very easy to put on and take off. And of course, it's not safe for drinking, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Don't drink your well with that. <laughs> okay, so Jim had some extra water, so he's letting us have some. We're going to fill up our bladder. The generator's running. We got all kinds of stuff going on here. Yeah. <laughs> How's the temperature in your house right now? Right now it's good. Right now it's good. So we had to come to the laundromat today. I just had bedding and clothes, but um, we're the only ones in here. I'm the only one here. I have never been in this laundromat where I was the only one here. But there are signs that say six foot dis di distancing, social distancing, wear a mask or face scarf. Wow. Well, since I'm the only one here, I don't have my mask on. Nice clean laundromat. The owner was just here checking things out. So, yeah. Not, not too bad. Not too bad. Portside, Arizona.
Nobody's here. There's not even a load in the dryers. It's crazy. I like it. I like it. Quartzite has put this flyer out so everyone knows what is going on and how to prevent yourself from getting sick. I thought that was pretty sweet. And there's not been a case here in Quartzite, Arizona. Oh, there's Mr. Childers. Howdy, y'all. Little thing here we're going to talk about. Um, your tanks, since we have kind of smaller tanks on our rig, we got the uh, 20 pound, five gallon propane tanks. Uh, what I just ordered though, was these uh, gauges, inline gauges, with, uh, so I can tell how much fuel I got in these tanks. It was always so aggravating, I couldn't tell how much fuel I had, unless I just feel it. Sometimes you can tell by feeling if it's temperature is working with you. But a lot of times you, you just don't you just don't know. So we don't use a lot of propane unless it's really cold. When was the last time we filled these? It's been at Yuma, at least a yeah. month ago. Oh, at least. And this one's totally full, and this one is three quarters full, <laughs> and we haven't had, had to use no heat or nothing. If you look at these gauges, the way they're set up, you got the red, the yellow, and the green. Of course, the green being you got plenty of fuel. But these are really nice to have. I got these on uh, on Amazon for like $32. And I had to change out the small fittings here because these are the half the half inch fittings. I took out the ones and got rid of the little black hoses that kept falling apart and leaking and everything else. But these seem to be made really really well so we're gonna see how they work y'all but just little things to do your improvements with and they're a big help to tell you how much fuel you got in your tank and we've had this regulator on here since we uh, built rebuilt the trailer so it's six years old. this is so you can select which which tank yeah it'll select something new something to improve make it easier for yourself I recommend everybody get these makes it so much easier uh, Sharon's going to remove our sticker. Oh. Okay. Well, you don't need to close it up. Oh, never mind. It's all right. <laughs> we got, uh, our sticker season is over. This is your permit. We need to remove it, get it off our glass. But, uh, that's the way it comes. Next year, probably a different color. Well, this year, in the fall, in September the 15th. And when we come back, we might still be up north by that time. So, got to take that uh, thing off. All of our plans have changed. Yeah, everything's changed, y'all. You don't ever know. I'm just glad we are flexible to change. But that's the way it is. You want me to I got it. pull that a little bit, make it a little easier. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll yeah. take some little. New sticker. Yep. Okay. Okay, they also give you a second sticker for long term. They put it on your vehicle, your primary vehicle. It'll take some goof off to that and clean it a little while. Mm -hmm. But there you go. Got rid of those stickers. One more year. I'm testing the GoPro sessions to see how well the little wind muffs or dead cats or wind guards, whatever you want to call it. That's what I'm doing is testing it in the wind here. Let's see here. Yep. You can see that flag just a-blowing. 